The servlet is a type of Java class used in Java web applications which enhances the capabilities of a server. It helps in enhancing web server functionality with minimal overhead, maintenance and support. A servlet acts as an intermediary between the client and the server. As servlet modules run on the server, they can receive and respond to requests made by the client. How HTTP servlets are used When an HTML form is submitted, the servlet processes and stores the data. When a client supplies a database query, the results are provided to the client by the servlet. In most cases, the server uses the common gateway interface, CGI. What are the advantages of servlet over CGI? A servlet runs in the same process, eliminating the need to create a new process for every request. The CGI program must be reloaded for each CGI request. A servlet, however, does not require reloading and remains in the memory between requests. A servlet answers multiple requests simultaneously by using one instance, saving memory and easily managing persistent data. The servlet engine runs in a sandbox or restricted environment, putting the server from potentially harmful servlets. What is the difference between GET and POST method? GET is a safe method, idempotent. POST is non-idempotent method. We can send limited data with GET method and it's sent in the header request URL. We can send large amount of data with POST because it's part of the body. GET method is not secure because data is exposed in the URL and we can easily bookmark it and send similar request again. POST is secure because data is sent in request body and we can't bookmark it. GET is the default HTT method. Should specify POST to send request with POST method. What is servlet config? Servlet config is an interface from Javax. Servlet package is used to read the initialization parameters of web.xml. Its object is returned by the get servlet config method of HTTP servlet inherited from generic servlet. Config is an object of servlet config. What is servlet context? Servlet context is a configuration object which is created when web application is started. It contains different initialization parameter that can be configured in web.xml. Life cycle of servlet context. Servlet container reads the DD deployment descriptor web.xml and creates the name value string pair for each context param when web application is getting started. Container creates the new instance of servlet context. Servlet container gives the servlet context reference to each name value pair of the context in it parameter. What is difference between servlet config and servlet context? Servlet config object is one per servlet class. Servlet context object is global to entire web application. Object of servlet config will be created during initialization process of the servlet. Object of servlet context will be created at the time of web application deployment. We should give request explicitly, in order to create servlet config object for the first time. Servlet context object will be available even before giving the first test. It will be destroyed once the servlet execution is completed. It will be destroyed once the application is removed from the server. What are life cycle methods of a servlet? Public void in its servlet config config. This method is used by container to initialize the servlet. This method is invoked only once in the lifecycle of servlet. Public void service servlet request request 
servlet response response. This method is called once for every request. Container can't invoke service method until unless init method is executed. Public void destroy. This method is invoked once when servlet is unloaded from memory. How do we call one servlet from another servlet? We can use request dispatcher forward method to forward the processing of a request to another servlet. If we want to include the another servlet output to the response, we can use request dispatcher include method. How can we invoke another servlet in a different application? We can't use request dispatcher to invoke servlet from another application because it's specific for the application. If we have to forward the request to a resource in another application, we can use servlet response send redirect method and provide complete URL of another servlet. This sends the response to client with response code as 302 to forward the request to another URL. If we have to send some data also, we can use cookies that will be part of the servlet response and sent in the request to another servlet. What is URL encoding? URL encoding is the process of converting data into CGI form so that it can travel across the network without any issues. URL encoding strip the white spaces and replace special characters with escape characters. We can use java.net.l encoder.encode string str, string unicode, to encode a string. URL decoding is the reverse process of encoding and we can use java.net.l decode string str, string unicode, to decode the encoded string. For example Pankaj's data is encoded to Pankaj% 27s plus data. What are different methods of session management in servlets? User authentication. HTML hidden field. Cookies. URL rewriting. Session management API. What is a deployment descriptor? Deployment descriptor is a configuration file for the web application and its name is web.xml and it resides in webinf directory. Servlet container use this file to configure web application servlets, servlet config params, context init params, filters, listeners, welcome pages and error handlers. A servlet's thread safe? How to achieve thread safety in servlets. HTTP servlet init method and destroy method are called only once in servlet life cycle, so we don't need to worry about their synchronization. But service methods such as do get or do post are getting called in every client request and since servlet uses multi-threading, we should provide thread safety in these methods. What is servlet wrapper classes and it chooses? Servlet HTTP API provides two wrapper classes, HTTP Servlet Request Wrapper and HTTP Servlet Response Wrapper. These wrapper classes are provided to help developers with custom implementation of servlet request and response types. We can extend these classes and override only specific methods we need to implement for custom request and response objects. These classes are not used in normal servlet programming.